Hi, so we're going to be continuing to talk about theme and variations. So what we're going to start out with is going over uh, this video that I linked in the slides from last week. So we're going to listen to these and talk about them a little bit. So those of you that know Harry Potter, this is a pretty um, common, prevalent theme. Most of you will probably have heard this before. And so we see here how some words came up. So we obviously know that this is the theme. This is the main theme, Hedwig's theme, right? So it says some words here, pitch, tempo, dynamics, and how many instruments. So these are some things that um, it was getting you to think about because the pitch is, is it high or low? It's Hi. The dynamics. Is it loud or is it soft? It is soft. The tempo. Is it fast or is it slow? It's kind of slow. Maybe if in the middle. Um, andante, if you will. How many instruments? It's just one piano, right? Let's take a look at one of the other variations of the same theme. So here we still kind of hear that same theme, Hedwig's theme. Um, dynamics, was this loud or soft? This one was loud. It was louder than the other one was. So that's one way to make it different. How many different parts, how many different instruments? There are different instruments, aren't there? So instead of just one piano, there are stringed instruments, a so violin, viola, cello, bass, right? We can hear that if I hit play. We hear flute, we hear harp. Okay, variation two. Let's see what's going on here. Now, this variation is quite different, right? So we have the words timbre. It sounds a little bit different. That's all that means. Rhythm. So the rhythm is really different than the original theme. You can kind of still hear it, but it's almost not as recognizable because it's not those same rhythms that we're used to hearing. The style and the texture, okay? So these are touching on different things that composers do to create different variations. So you obviously have the main theme and to create those different variations, composers can change mainly the rhythms, the harmony. So like in this one, it sounded so different than the original one. There was more going on and it was creating a different feel because of all the instrumentation and the harmony. So we have rhythm, harmonies, and we have instruments. The instruments can be different also. Also the dynamics. The dynamics are a pretty easy way for composers to create a shift in the variations and make it seem much more different. So in the first theme, it was soft, right? Piano. But then in some of the other variations that we were just listening to, they were a lot louder. They were forte, mezzo forte, right? So remember a theme is the main melody when we are talking about theme and variations. I mean, even when we thought, think of theme as um, when it's referring to books, the theme of the book, when we're talking about stories, theme of the story, theme of the music, when we talk about theme and variations, it's the main part. So it's the main melody that we hear over and over again. Remember a variation is a change on that melody. So essentially theme and variations is hearing the same tune over and over again, but the variations are little changes. So if we are looking at this slide that I have linked, let's say that this one is the theme, right? Just a piece of toast, right? The next one is the first variation. So it's toast, but it has a little bit of jelly on it. 
So when we go through uh, theme and variations, the first one is obviously going to be the main melody. The second one is going to be the first variation. It's going to be one way to change that main theme. We can also have a second variation. So that one is going to be even more different. It's gonna be different from the first variation. It's gonna be a little bit different from the theme. The same with variation three and variation four. There can be multiple variations that composers write. Um, but if we're looking at this, we have four, okay? I only put four because I could only fit four and I only had four different kinds of toast. So I have this regular plain piece of toast. This one has jelly, right? It's a little bit different. This one has peanut butter, still has something else on it, but it's still not jelly and it's not just plain toast. This one has strawberry jam, jam, something on it, but not quite the same as these two. And then this one probably is like butter or something like that. Uh, again, not plain toast, something on it, but it's not the same as the ones that follow it. So each variation is going to be a little bit different than each other. It might not be the same, just like what we were listening to when we were listening to Hedwig's theme and the different variations in each movie. Um, and then we're going to listen to another theme and variations in the next slide.